Hi, my name is Darshan and I'm an online tutor of math and physics. Uh, this video is on FRQ number two of AP pre-calculus uh, the sample exam, you know, please by the college board. Let's read this one out. Calculator is allowed by the way. This is from part A. Uh, students who completed a class participated in a year-long study to see how much of the content from the class uh, they retained over the following year. At the end of the class, students completed an initial test to mine the group's content knowledge. At that time, t equal to zero, the group of students achieved a score of 75 out of 100 points. For the next 12 months, the group was evaluated uh, at the end of each month to track their retention of the content. And after three months at t equal to three, the group's score was 70.84. The group score can be modeled by the function logarithmic, uh, this logarithmic function where r is the score and t is the month number of months since the initial test was carried out. Using the given data, write two equations that can be used to find the values of A and B, okay. I can do that, that's pretty straightforward, right? So A1, uh, we are given that when T is zero, the score R was 75 at the starting. And after three months, the score is 70.84. So R is 70.84. So all we have to do now is just uh, you know plug in these numbers and these equations. We'll get two equations, obviously. So that's going to be equal to um, 75 is equal to a plus b times ln 0 plus 1. I hope you agree with this because the time is just you know replaced with 0 and r is replaced with 75. So this is going to look like 75 is equal to a. Why? Because 0 plus 1 is 1. And what is ln 1? Natural log of 1. In fact, any log of 1 is just 0. So I'm going to write that just like this. So this is, in fact, we got the value of a as well. That's equation number 1. And equation number 2 is you write 70.84 is equal to a plus b times natural log of time. Time is what? 3. And 3 plus 1 is 4. So I'm going to write 4 over here. That's equation number 2. And in part two, they are asking us to find the value of a and b. So we can also do that. It's pretty straightforward. We already got the value of a. Just plug this value of a over here. So that's going to look like 70.84. It's going to 75 plus b natural log of 4. So this is going to look like where is my calculator? There you go. So 70.84 minus 75 divided with natural log of 4. Uh, so that value is coming as negative 3.0008. Negative 3.0008. That will be the value of um, B. So I'm going to box this up and uh, this is my answer to part A2. Okay. Let's add another slide and work on question number 2. Use the given data to find the average rate of change of the scores in points per meter from 0 to 3. Express your answers as a decimal approximation. Show the computations that lead to your answer and then interpret its meaning as well. Okay, we can do that. It's pretty straightforward, I believe. We just have to remember what is the formula for the average rate of change. So the average rate of change is given by FB minus FA over b minus a where a and b are the points about which you are you know finding that change so i'm going to plug these numbers over here we are finding from uh, I believe from 0 to 3 so i'm going to plug in b as 3 so that's f3 a as 0 which is uh, just 0 over 3 minus 0 okay uh what is f of 3 and f of 0 don't you think we already know that because um, you can, I mean, don't need to go uh, to the other slide. Uh, if we notice carefully, at t equal to 0, it was at 75. And at t equal to 3, it was at 70.84. So don't you think that the value of f of 3, the functional value at 3, is just 70.84? And the functional value at 0 is just 75 over 3. So this is what they are looking for. And if I do this, 70.84 70 minus 75 over 3, that's coming as negative 1.3867 perhaps. And what is the unit? 
uh, the unit will be the unit of the function. The function defines the points, points per month. So this is the change of point every month uh, from zero to three months. So that is the answer for uh, this question. Interpret the meaning in the context. I'm right now talking about part two. So interpret the meaning means, you know, just uh, it means that uh, at uh, you know in the first three months in every month the average or not even the average the score was decreasing by one point sorry one point three eight six seven points every month every month uh, uh, for the first three months of course so the interpretation is for the first three months the average decrease was uh, 1.3867 points over here that will be the average uh, change okay all right uh, let's work on uh, part three now let me add a new page over here okay so it says that consider the average rates of change of r from three to some value p where p is greater than three are these average rates of change greater than or less than than the average rate of change from zero to three found in one then explain your reasoning this is all about the graphical understanding of how the function is going to look for example uh, remember the fun values of a and b which we got uh, these are the values of a and b so if we plug a and b into this over here what is the equation which we are going to get we are going to get r is equal to 75 minus 3.0008 natural log of t plus 1 okay so my question to you is how do you think this graph is going to look like had this was just the natural log with a positive sign you know positive coefficient it would have been like this but this is negative so it will be flipped about the x axis so it's going to look like this Okay, so can I say that it is a concave up function? Obviously, it has to be concave up. Zero is somewhere over, uh, <clears throat> they want the value of um, t as zero to t as three. So this is uh, t equal to zero. Obviously, here, the vertical asymptote is negative one. You don't have to go in that deep, I mean, even I'm just I'm just sketching this to make you understand just knowing that concave down will will help you solve this question but anyway t equal to negative one as a vertical asymptote and it's going to look maybe somewhat like this uh, we are interested from zero to three so this is zero and maybe this value is three and maybe this value is some p now you can clearly see that from zero to three the slope of the tangent I'm sorry, not the slope of the tangent, the average rate of change, it means that the slope of this line and then the slope of this line. This is line one and this is line two. Obviously, line one is more steep than line two because line two is getting, you know, more and more horizontal, so less steep. And please be advised, these values are negative because obviously these are, you know, obtuse angle, inclined that way, so the slope will be negative. So can I say in case one, that is from zero to three, uh, the slope is maybe hypothetically, let's say zero, let's say negative one, hypothetically, just to make you understand. So from three to P, the slope will be obviously little less, right? In the, because it's less inclined. So negative value will be a little less. So maybe it is negative one over two, hypothetically. So what do you think is the greater value here? Because they are asking us to compare negative one and negative one over two. And remember that there's a negative sign and hence this is going to be a bigger value. So if they're asking that the average rate of change from three to P is less than or greater than, we are gonna say it's greater than, it's greater than because negative lesser number is a greater number. Uh, because on the number line, obviously, I hope you understand what I mean from on negative line if this is zero and this is negative one so negative one over two is here which is obviously a greater number so answer is greater than yeah okay uh we have one last uh question over here let's uh oops yeah 
sorry. Um, okay. The leaders of the study decide to use the model R to make predictions about the group score beyond 12 months, that is one year. For a given year, the model R is an approximate model of the group's predicted score at the end of the year is at least one point lower than the group's predicted year at the end of the previous year. So what they want, what they are saying is that if R12 is found, let's say, then R24 is found because, you know, at the end of every year, at the end of every 12 months. Then R36 is found, then R48 is found, then R50 is found. As far as the difference is, is at least one point lower. So can I say that, that at least means that if this guy, and I don't know whether it's positive or negative, but what I care about is its absolute value. If it is greater than one, then all good. But if not, then it decides to, then it is actually falling apart. So we have to find that based on this information, how many years is model R an approximate model? Means that for how many models, the difference is greater than one. So it's all about plugging in the numbers on the calculator because we already have the value of R. If you can remind me again, that was 75 minus 3.0008 natural log of 8t plus one. So what will be the value of R of 24? Um, that's where my calculator comes in. So ln 25 times 3.0008 75 minus this value and uh, r of 24 comes out as 65.34 and what is the value of r of 12 um, natural log of 13 times 3.0008 75 minus answer so this is 67.30 so this should be greater than one and clearly this is greater than one because 65 to 67 is about two units so yes this is greater than one likewise you just have to keep doing for so this is just the calculation and stuff i'm sure you can just plug this into the calculator and find this up if you find this this will also come as greater than one if you find however 48 minus 36 this will come out to be less than one right this will come out to be less than one this means that if you are talking about the fourth year the fourth year is when it is no longer greater than one it means that the approximate model is for three years so the answer will be uh, for t equal to three or for a total of three years is when the model is approximate yeah Hope this one makes sense. It was an interesting. At least the last few questions were interesting. So I'll see you in the next video with some more questions. Bye-bye.